Pastor Amber with your midweek mentoring tip. And today I want to read out of Matthew chapter 9, starting in verse 35. It says, Jesus went through all the towns and villages, teaching in their synagogues, proclaiming the good news of the kingdom, and healing every disease and sickness. When he saw the crowds, he had compassion on them, because they were harassed and helpless, like sheep without a shepherd. Then he said to his disciples, The harvest is plenty, but the workers are few. Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. A few things stood out to me in this verse when I read it. And the first thing was that it said that Jesus went throughout all the cities and the villages, meaning that, you know, it wasn't just the the populous metropolitan areas that he hit, like for us, you know, in New York City or, or L.A., but he also focused on the small little villages like the Lodi's and the Lockfords and the Galt. No person or no demographic of people was too insignificant for him. The second thing was that not only did he go out and proclaim um, the good news of the kingdom and, and teach in their synagogues, but it also says that he healed every sickness and disease Disease meaning um, not only those incurable or terminal illnesses that people had, but also the sicknesses too that may have not been something that they were going to die from, but that were as equally um, detrimental to the person that had suffered it. No condition was too insignificant for him. The third um, thing that stood out was this passage also says that when he saw the crowds, he had compassion for them because they were harassed and helpless like sheep without a shepherd. Now, this word compassion doesn't just refer to, oh, I feel sorry for them, but it it literally means the capacity to feel deep emotions in your heart where the seat of your affections lie, a a gut-level compassion. Jesus didn't just feel sorry for the people, but he allowed his heart to break for them because they were harassed. They They were stressed and worried and distraught from exterior pressures of life, but then also for those who were helpless, those who were thrown out and cast out by society. Both were equally as important to him, and both he allowed his heart to break for. Lastly, it says that when he saw the crowd, he said to his disciples, Ask the Lord of the harvest, therefore, to send out workers into his harvest field. Now, the word ask doesn't refer to, oh, God, if you could or if you get a chance to, but rather having a deep felt personal need. To, or to make an urgent, um, urgent appeal for something. Jesus wasn't suggesting to his disciples that they should simply ask God, you know, when you see him kind of a thing, just run it by him, but rather to, um, to have, allow it to be a pressing, urgent request, a need that I have to ask God for kind of a thing. And as I was looking at all of this and just really letting it... Um, soak in so to speak it it made me think you know when was the last time that I had that that gut level compassion for the people around me that that are hurting and that don't know Jesus to the point where it becomes my own personal need um, to where um, I feel it so deeply within me that I have to go before the Lord and make urgent appeals to him to to intervene on their behalf and you know honestly when I when I thought about it it's like I hate to admit it, but I don't feel that way very often um, about those people that I encounter that that don't know Jesus. But the more that I thought about it, too, the Bible also says in in Hebrews 13, 8, that Jesus Christ is the same yesterday, today, and forever. The same Jesus that we read that did these things, that that proclaimed his good news, that, that healed every sickness and disease, still does that today. But he does it through us, his spirit in us, us, his, um, his laborers. The Father is sending us out into his field. And my challenge to us this week is that let's give God permission to allow him to give us the heart that Jesus had for people, that, that level of compassion that doesn't just feel sorry for people, but rather drives us to go on our faces before the Lord and say, God, intervene on their behalf to the point where um, you have to know this Jesus that I know that the, the things that the Lord has done for us, the healing that he has brought us, the, the salvation and, and the grace that we have experienced would come become real to us once again to the fact to the point where we would our hearts would break for for those around us that that have yet to experience that 
So let's go out into our communities, whether we live in a bigger city like Stockton with a lot of people or, you know, small little Lockford. It doesn't matter. Wherever the Lord has us, let us go in, into those communities, into our workplaces, whether we work for a multi-million dollar corporation or we work for a little mom and pop shop or into um, our families, no matter how dysfunctional and or crazy they may be, and be representatives of, of God's love and of his healing and his grace. Because, you know, the thing about it is, is like we read it, it's, it's not a suggestion. The Lord's commanding us. He's placed us where we are for a reason. So let's be intentional about allowing the Lord to commission us where he's got us and to not do so in, in a begrudging attitude like, oh, it's a command, so I guess I should, but rather um, that we would do so with a thankful heart. You know, it's, it's an honor to be an ambassador for Christ. So let's allow his message to impact our hearts once again to go out and share it with the world to be his laborers in his field where he's planted us and as we do do so with an expectancy Jesus you are the same today as you were when you were here on the earth and so I expect you to move in power I expect um, you to heal and to minister the same way that you did when you were here on earth but through me and, and thank him for advance for the work that he's going to do in us and in the places that he has us right now so that's my challenge to myself this week and my challenge to each and every one of you as well. So uh, with that, I'm going to go ahead and pray. Father, I thank you for, for your goodness, Father, and that you don't need us, but you choose to partner with us. You choose to send us out into um, the areas that you've got us, into our communities, into our families, into our workplaces, Lord. And I ask that um, you would just give us the heart that you have for people, Lord, and... Um, we wouldn't allow, um, especially people that are in situations and it's by their choice to harden our hearts, Lord, against them, but rather we would still see them as hurting and as lost and we would have your heart towards them, Lord, and that we would be intentional in every place that you have us to bring your light, to bring your love, and to bring your compassion to the hurting people around us. And we thank you in advance as we do that you will, we have an expectancy to see you move. In Jesus' name, amen.